Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha, this is Carol Mon Lee on Education Matters today at Think Tech. And this is a special show, kind of a last minute show, because an opportunity arose for us to interview our summer intern, Kendra Austin. Hello. Welcome, Kendra. Hi. So, this, uh, so today we're going to talk about an internship at Think Tech, a summer internship at Think Tech. And uh, Kendra comes to us from which school? Uh, University of Hawaii at West Oahu. Right. And what's your major there? Uh, creative Media and Humanities. And humanity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us, how many days have you been interning so far? Three days. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happened today is I walk in the door and I say to you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> One o'clock. Uh, you tell me that I'm having an interview today because there's a puka. <laughs> right, and you didn't know that word puka. No, I have no idea what... Puka man, I don't know any Hawaiian words. That's our aloha. Right, right. Well, um, for our audience, we have internships at ThinkTech, and we often have, uh, we love to have internships. We have had students from high schools, Kalaheho, St. Andrew's Priory, uh, one student from Midpac when he was also in middle school. And we have had college students from UH uh, Manoa, from, um, and now from UH West Oahu and also from HPU. So we're so glad to have you this summer, Kendra. Thank you. So tell us about your interest in the, so we know about the Academy of Creative Media from the Manoa side, but now is it located in West Oahu? And tell us about what that means and what you're doing with it. Yes, uh, it's, lo it's, it's located in Kapolei, West Oahu. It's a small school. It opened up, I believe, in 2012. So it's been growing, growing, growing. Uh, Chris Lee, he's the founder of Creative Media, and he uh, donated uh, over a million dollars to West Oahu to start up our Creative Media program. And so it encompasses pretty much everything about media, social media, uh, graphic designing, film, uh, animation, video graphics, everything that involves media, behind the scenes, mainly behind the scenes, not much in front of the camera. So that's pretty much what the Creative Media program is all about. At and West you're Coast. majoring in that? Yes. And so what particular areas are you interested in? Um, mainly the film aspect of it, like the production, writing, directing, acting as well. Okay. So what experience have you had so far? What, what classes have you taken so far in at the in the school? So since there's no specific uh, major that has film, because it's just mainly creative media, they give you a variety of classes that you can take uh, from screenwriting all the way to uh, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator. You learn pretty much the entire scope of media. So I took in screenwriting, pre-production, graphic design, video editing, um, Photoshop, uh, let's see, uh, also stop motion, motion graphics, all kinds of, that's pretty much all my classes consist of is those things. Why? Right. and that's really interesting. So have you decided which one of those you wanna focus on? You said film, but in addition, it, like film, television film, um, documentaries, feature films? Um, I would say mainly storytelling. So feature film, television film, possibly like a web series, uh -huh. And uh, have, have you had opportunities to actually work in that area? Well, from my screenwriting classes, I've been able to write scripts, but outside of that, I haven't really got much of a chance. Yeah, so they haven't been actually produced then? No. So coming to Think Tech is a really hands-on yes. opportunity. Yes, it's, a lot of things are hands-on. I'm not used to that, because I'm like, textbook, classroom. Classroom stuff, yeah. yes. And so now here you are in a real <laughs> studio. Yes. Learning so. all about the cameras, yes. all about the microphone. Yes. Cause the sound. You, you learn a lot about the shots, like wide angles, medium shot, you know, but you know, you actually do it here while you just learn uh, from a book. Right. So tell me what you've been learning so far in your three whole days, or what you expect <laughs> to learn in the next Nine weeks, I think, you're going to be with us. Later. So uh, I learned a lot about camera, pretty much the camera angle, uh, how to line people up with the camera, mic checks, microphone, audio, um, 
learn a little, I've seen a little bit of video editing as well. Uh, pretty much uh, using social media as well to promote the company. Mm -hmm. So those are mainly the things I learned in three days. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you've uh, been keeping a journal, which I appreciate. Yes. You made a comment, and I wanted to ask you about it. And you said uh, there's been a couple of different styles in the way uh, we do, what was it, a sound check that there was different styles? It was how you zoom in and oh. line the uh, guest and host up. Mm -hmm. I learned two different things. So tell me, tell me the two different ways. So the first one I learned from our floor manager, Rob. He taught us how, he taught me how to, um, he used a button on the side of the camera to um, move the camera from side to side. So it's a little bit more difficult because you don't have that much control, but he prefers that. And then Ray taught me how to use the lenses and how to maneuver it up and down um, to zoom in or out. So I thought that was much easier than... For you. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. And so what do you think you're going to be learning in the next several weeks? What are you looking forward to? Because I know we actually have a program, a curriculum for yes. you. Yes. So is there anything in particular you're looking forward to learning? Uh, I like really like interviewing. I like... I like Before the camera? Yes. Uh -huh. So I really like um, uh, interviewing people. I like being in front of the camera more. So I think that's the most exciting one because you told me I get to host the show. Yes, so you that's, do. So that's something I'm kind of actually excited for because I like being in front of the camera. Because okay. I, I used to act for like six years. So I, This was back where you, where you moved from. You said you just moved to Hawaii. Yes. In 2000 and... 16. 16, right. And before that, you and your family were living where? Alabama. In Alabama. Uh huh. And so you were acting there. Yes. Oh. I've been acting from eighth grade up till now. I see. Okay. So what about journalism? Are you interested in news as opposed to um, acting? Uh, yes. I kind of feel like sometimes journalism is kind of a form of acting because it's <laughs> not like... <laughs> it's kind of like a form of acting to okay. me. So I, I think they're kind of on the same hands. So I, I journalism, journalism is definitely something I would be interested in doing because mm -hmm. I am into it. Right. So I think it's a form of uh, communicating yes. with your viewers, whether it's about the content is news and real stories or fiction and you know plays. Okay, great. So what about um, your? You said you moved here from. Alabama. Alabama. And before that, you were in school in Alabama? Yes. Oh, I was in school in Georgia. I was uh -huh. on the board of Alabama and Georgia. Mm -hmm. And what, were you, what school were you in in Georgia? Uh, I went to Columbus State University in Columbus, Georgia. It's a, I guess it's a Division One school in Columbus. Columbus is the third largest city in Georgia, so... Uh -huh. Maybe some people know about it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So did you study, start to study media there? No, I was actually a psychology major. Ah. <laughs> so it's a drastic change to creative media. Uh huh. And then, then you and your family moved here. I know you un understand your mother is in the military. Yes, right? she's a lieutenant colonel in the uh, U.S. Army. Right, in the U.S. Army. And we'll give a little uh, hint to our, our viewers, but she might be a guest. <laughs> Yes, she might Mom, be a guest. Are you Mom, you might you might be up here with me <laughs> on the show. I think that'd be fun to interview her, right? It would. Yeah. She likes she likes stuff like this as well. Oh, good. So you and your family are living at Schofield Bar Barracks. Yes. Okay. So tell me a little bit about what you think the differences in the cultural changes between Hawaii and Alabama and living on base. Did you live on base in Alabama? No. Yeah. So. How does that? How has that all been um, affecting you? And is it a what kind of experience has that been? Uh, it's been an interesting experience because Alabama, where I live, was predominantly like Southern and Black, mm -hmm. and so moving here, it's like oh, it's like predominantly I guess Asian maybe and mixed. It's yeah, a real mixed. diverse culture here. So yeah. it was just it was definitely a. A little bit culture shock because I've been in Alabama for at least like five years, but I always travel with your mom, with my family. mom. Mm -hmm. But mainly, you know, from high school to a little bit of college, it was mainly Southern culture. So it's definitely like interesting stepping into this culture. It was completely different from anywhere I've been to. Uh, 
being in a place that's summer all year round was definitely an adjustment. <laughs> Cause I couldn't tell like what seasons were. I was like, what what season is it? My family was like, oh, it's fall. I'm like, oh yeah, it was summer here like all year round. So right, it's definitely been um. It, it really, a very interesting experience, but I do appreciate it because I like being exposed to many different things. I don't want to have just one singular experience. I like to experience all types of culture, so I definitely am um, appreciative of living here and having my time here. And tell us about your, your courses at UH West Oahu. Have they been, you, so you changed your majors from psychology then immediately to creative media? Yes. <laughs> I see. How, why is that? Uh, cause I don't know why. Cause I guess um, in Columbus there weren't any type of media or film degrees. Right. So when I when we were moving and we were going to Hawaii and I, and at first we were looking at Manoa, but we realized Manoa was so expensive. So we looked at West Oahu and we realized there was a creative media program there. Plus it's closer to you, yes, right? It's Schofield. Right. Much closer. So we decided to go with that, and I was very excited to. Uh, get this creative media uh, major because I really wanted to get into film because I always loved film but I didn't have that access. Right. Well, that's Georgia. a wonderful uh, unknown feature that when you <laughs> moved here you would have this opportunity. I know. Right. So, but you mentioned you're also studying humanities. Uh, it's creative media and because there's a difference. There's a creative media applied science I see. and creative media humanities. Okay. There's two different creative media majors. I see. And what does the humanities mean? You take special courses in the humanities? Um, that pretty much um, embraces all the arts, like production, writing, uh, also a little bit of graphic designing, like making magazine covers, uh, making you know, different types of photoshops. And then the applied science would be like uh, computer programming. I see. The more technical side yes, versus more. the more... Humanities. Yes. And do you have any requirements like English or math or science? Well, did you finish those at Columbus? Uh, well, as a freshman, you finished some of them. Okay. And then when I transferred here, there was, uh, I had to take over at different classes because it was, it was different, the curriculum. So I had to retake some Englishes. Well, I had to take more English, I should say. I had to take more science, so I kind of had to start over oh. from the bottom up here, uh -huh. but I managed it, so. Yeah, and you're going to be a senior next year, yes. right, in the fall. Yes. So you expect to graduate in 2019. Yes. <laughs> and what are you going to do after that? Oh, well, my mom's moving again. <gasps> Does she know where? Uh, we're hoping she's moved to Georgia. Back to Georgia? Well, we're going to be living, living in a different part, like Atlanta. I see. So Atlanta um, is a growing film uh -huh. film city. Of so course, and it's a big city, so they're going to have lots of opportunities. Yes. Uh -huh. so that's where I plan to go and get my master's at in SCAT University. Oh, wonderful. In media again. Mm -hmm. And then maybe at that same time be able to take advantage of their broadcast um, opportunities and get in front of the camera. Yes. Yeah. Because um, I definitely... I definitely really like uh, this idea of like broadcasting and live stream because it's something a little bit different for me because I've pretty much been acting. That's very different. You, have a yeah. script. you can rely on somebody yeah. else's words. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely different, but I, I do enjoy this experience. I, this is something I'll be um, interested in doing. Okay, great. Okay. Well, before we go to a break, this has been uh, Think Tech Hawaii, Education Matters, with my guest, special guest, Kendra Austin, <laughs> who is our, one of our two summer interns at Think Tech, and uh, she is from UH West Oahu at the Academy of Creative Media. Uh, we're going to be going to a short break. We'll be right back. This guy looked familiar. He calls himself the Ultra Fan, but that doesn't explain all this. Why? Why? He planned this party, planned the snacks, even planned to coordinate colored shirts, but he didn't plan to have a good time. Go, 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 go! Now you wouldn't do this in your own house, so don't do it in your team's house. Know your limits and plan ahead so that everyone can have a good time. Hi, I'm Pete McGuinness-Mark, and every Monday at 1 o'clock, I'm the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. 
And at that program, we bring to you a whole range of new scientific results from the university, ranging from everything from exploring the solar system to looking at the Earth from space, going underwater, talking about earthquakes and volcanoes, and other things which have a direct relevance not only to Hawaii, but also to our economy. So please try and join me one o'clock on a Monday afternoon to Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa, and see you then. Hey, welcome back. This is Education Matters with Carol Monley on Think Tech Hawaii. And I'm interviewing today Kendra Austin, who is our Think Tech Summer intern from UH West Oahu. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we talked a little bit about your internship experience here, your life back in uh, Alabama before you moved here, and some of your interests at the creative media program at UH West Oahu. But um, I understand you have some extracurricular. What do you remember of uh, what club there? Um, I'm a member of the film club here. It's a newly started film club at West Oahu. There's supposed to be like 30 members in it, but it's like five that show oh. up. So <laughs> <laughs> Five that show up. And what's the purpose of the club? Do you watch films? Do you make films? Do you analyze films? Uh, I would say we watch and we make them. So we're in the process of beginning to write a short film that we're going to work on this summer. So the club, so is there a faculty member who's heading the Well, the there's club? always like a faculty member that has to uh, approve, approve of it, but there's, they're not involved. So you're not, rent, so the students run the club? Yes. And so you're gonna write together a script? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How's that going? Uh, we're in the, cause I have a large imagination, so I have to, Obviously, this is like a short film, so we have to like think of something more, uh, maybe like a daily activity, like what's, what's the life of Hawaii, like what is uh, the daily interaction with you know, the local people. So that's kind of what we're trying to grasp. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm more like, oh, let's think about Star Wars or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how long is this film going to be, and when are you going to start filming it? You have to write the script first. Yes, right? write the script first. So we have to create our outline mm -hmm. for our script, and then we're going to uh, write it out, get the actors, and then we're going to begin filming. Uh, the president, his name is Iggy, he has uh, cameras. I don't have any cameras, so he's going to, he's probably going to, give the notice when he wants to begin filming. Okay, but this is all as a club, right? So mm -hmm. you're all volunteers, you don't, you know, you don't have any dues or No, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is like starting from like the ground up. Right, well, let me tell you about our internship experience here. Um, we have, as I said, we have interns every semester. Uh, we've had them in the summers, we've had them in the fall and in the spring. Um, and it really depends a lot on what the intern wants to learn. So some of our interns like editing more, uh, some are uh, enjoying, um, so for instance, we had one summer we had three interns and each of them produced a little show. They wrote the script, they found actors, we took our cameras outside, filmed it, they edited it, we produced it, and we ran it on OC16. Oh, wow. Yes, we did. So that's an opportunity for you. We should talk more about that if you'd like to do yes, that. Yes, I too. am. <laughs> I am very excited to hear something like that because I never, <laughs> no one told me that. Yeah. No, wow. Well, we, um, again, it depends on the interests of our interns. Oh, okay. Some are not interested yeah. in doing that. They prefer in the studio experience. But if you want outside of the uh, studio experience, we can work. We're very flexible. So as our audience knows, Think Tech, we're very small. You know, we only have volunteer, primarily volunteer hosts and guests. We have a very small staff, but we're very flexible because of that. And uh, Jay Fidel, who founded ThinkTech and who's the chief operating, chief uh, executive officer, um, he's very open to exposing um, and giving everyone opportunities to learn and to grow because we really feel passionate about continuing the broadcast media, uh, and our role, Think Tech's role in, in perpetuating, uh, promoting civic uh, public awareness and, and, and uh, understanding about what's going on in the world. So you have that opportunity to do that here. I know, I, I'm very uh, grateful for it because I didn't know anything about uh, Think Tech. I didn't, 
I learned actually learned this from Dr. Kimonia. She uh, told me about this, and then I contacted our floor manager, Cindy. And then Cindy sent me to you. And right now I'm here, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so grateful for right. this opportunity. Right, oh, yeah. right, yeah. And um, you're taking an internship at school. And yes. So you came to us and asked to be an intern, and I said. Of course, yes, we would love to have you. And is there an opportunity, if you want to get credit for it, I'll work with you on that. And so tell us about how that works, getting credit for it for uh, your, your major. So typically, you have to be a junior or senior standing for your credits. Um, that's, I think that's 60 credits and above. Uh, I didn't do it my junior year, obviously. I'm doing it now my senior year. And you pretty much have to create a resume, a cover letter, which is something I've continuously had throughout the years, because it's a good thing to have. And you also have to create a creative portfolio online um, to showcase professional work. So I don't have professional work to show, but I still have to create something that express what I do, what's something that I'm interested in doing in the future as a career. And also, I have to get approval from my professor uh, from my grades so that's pretty much the entire process for becoming an internship well using this particular experience yes. as an internship yes. experience and you're going to get how many credits for it uh three credits three credits and i know we had to make sure you're going to do 120 hours yes so we decided over 10 weeks you're going to do 120 hours and any other requirements are you doing a journal yes i'm doing a weekly journal uh for my professor and I'm doing a daily journal for you, but I'm going to combine them, combine yeah, them all together. So. Right, right. And is there anything in particular you wanted to focus on? We had talked a little bit about some of your work here, but um, and for the internship, is there a requirement that you cover certain areas? Uh, uh, Readings but, or ex research or? I definitely like researching a topic. I, I like the idea of. Um, I saw in their script writing, like writing the script, not necessarily like a storytelling script, no. but something for the host to, um, to say. So that's something I'm interested in, researching the topic of uh, what the guests and hosts are going to be talking about, something I'm interested in. In this case, I'll tell you how that works. It's really not for any other host but yourself. So you would write your own script for yourself. So for instance, you would use, uh, we would help you and Jay would help you uh, decide on the topic and outline and I guess it's do a treatment for a script that you would then produce and we would talk about the steps in producing it and 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 then actually filming it and then editing it and then getting it on the screen so yes you could we will work with you on that that's actually a lot what I've learned from my classes all about and the, the treatment. film school yes too. the film club the yes film club, right pre-production that's part of its mm -hmm. treatment writing it out producing it, mm -hmm. that's all I learned at school. So this is definitely, um, a, a, all the information I learned from school is definitely helping me here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, um, our audience knows about our website, thinktechhawaii.com, and we also have YouTube archives, so thinktechhawaii slash YouTube, or anyways, we have a YouTube <laughs> account. But I'm gonna show you, get to you the links of our former interns and the shows that they produced, and you can see what they did, and that might give you some creative ideas too about how you can do that. Yeah, I definitely would like to see past examples yes. to see if I can like make it really good, right? Really well, right? And you mentioned that you wanted to. Um, you're looking forward to hosting a show. Yes, with our possible <laughs> secret guest. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, so, what have you learned in the three days you've been watching other shows here? as a host, how, what's a good host do and not do? And what would you, I know you mentioned other um, TV, like Wendy Williams, and I'm not sure who else you, Oprah, you know, or uh, whoever, you know, the different ones on the Today Show, things like that. What, what do you see or think would be good um, style or characteristics that you would want to use when you host? And what do you don't want to see? Um, I would say, I will, what I would like to see is maybe like, a, maybe like a casual conversation. Someone is, the host is pushing the conversation, but also allowing the guests to, you know, say what they have to say. Maybe just bounce off what they're saying and like, oh, well, what about this? Or something like that. I like 
I like that type of dynamic. Uh, I, I don't. I wouldn't like to see a guest get upset from what a host has to say and right. like get up in the middle of the interview. So that's something I definitely don't, don't want. want and do. also awkward pauses right. aren't right. Well, what I find is really listening, because then you can respond. And so if a, goes, a guest is hesitant to talk, you can kind of jump in. And But if you're going by a list of questions, often that is often, you know, deadly, because you're not really listening to what the answers yeah. are and being able to expand and make a richer conversation. Yes. I don't, I don't really like question and answer interviews. Those are yeah. a little right. boring. You don't get to know the person that well. Right. Right. Well, we only have a few more minutes. So I'm going to give you, Kendra, an opportunity to talk into camera four and tell our audience a little bit about what you might suggest about internships. So I think if anybody who's interested in the broadcasting media, I think you should definitely uh, intern at Think Tech. Also, if you're really into like production as well, there are many things here I think that you should learn that's hands on from the classrooms. I know oftentimes classrooms don't allow you to get very hands on. So I definitely recommend Think Tech as a place to go. They're very flexible. They're very flexible with me, and I'm very grateful for that. So. OK, well, thank you. Well, Kendra, this has been a lot of fun. And as I said, and as Kendra said, that uh, Think Tech Hawaii believes very strongly in um, supporting and educating our future broadcast journalists uh, in Hawaii. And so to that extent, we offer a free internship program. We have students from public and private high schools and colleges. Uh, just contact us at thinktechhawaii.com uh, or our website, through our website, and we will uh, follow up with you and uh, look forward to hearing from you about in future internships. So this has been Education Matters with Carol Monley and my special guest, Kendra Austin, a rising senior at UH West Oahu at the Academy of Creative Media. Thank you on behalf of ThinkTech, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.